Uh, it's been a long time since I last made a video, uh, but something uh, came up this week, which was this News and Views article that came out in um, uh, Nature Materials. And I just found this figure, first of all, this figure is just really, really beautiful. Um, and the really nice thing is if you zoom in, let's zoom in here, you can see that these spheres, they're not the typical type of spheres that you would make. These are kind of cartoon um, spheres, meaning that they don't have, you know, so many um, gradations to the color, just a few. Um, and I thought, oh, it'd be really interesting to teach people how to make um, spheres that look like this. It actually doesn't take, um, doesn't take too, too, too many steps. So again, I just want to highlight again, this came from an interesting paper from a, um, uh, the, the work itself uh, is based on a, a friend's work who's at the University of Waterloo, the, the Sun Group. And so if you want to take a look at the news and views um, and this figure uh, uh, and, the, and the research that this is based on, um, I'll put the links also in the, um, in the YouTube video. All right, so let's see how we can, how we can make this thing. Let's go over to Adobe Illustrator. So you can see I copied over uh, the figure here just so we can see it. I zoomed in onto one of these atoms that you can see up, uh, uh, up here. And then this is the one that, that I made. Now, as usual, for people that have uh, watched these videos before, I'm using a Mac. And so I will show this screen briefly just so you can decode what, my, uh, what each one of these keystrokes are. Um, and then you can convert it to when you use a PC. So you can always go back to this page and just, uh, and just pause. Okay, so let's go back to the, the actual image. So how can we make something like this? Um, um, I've tried looking into it and there isn't a, a simple thing um, that will solve this for you, an illustrator on its own, but it actually doesn't take that much work. So this is simply just using L. Remember L is the ellipse tool, so it's for making circles. And let's choose a nice color. So let's, uh, actually, let's make a different one. Let's make one that's um, in the family of reds. So if I click on the swatches, maybe I will click one that is, let's start along this line. Maybe I'll start at light pink, like this. And I'm just going to make a series. Remember, if I hold down Alt, I can duplicate. I'll make each one of these spheres uh, slightly larger. So now I have three spheres. This last one, I won't make it uh, as big. Uh, and now we can go back and change these colors. So remember, if I go along a straight line, let's choose one that's maybe here. It's a good one. This is the one I want to change. Let's make it dark, maybe down there. See what that looks like. All right, we have all three spheres. We want to create something that looks like this. So let's bring this sphere forward by using the shift uh, and the right brace. So I bring that there. Now let's take this lighter sphere. Again, I'm using shift. Uh, shift command and the right brace to bring it all the way to the front. Now it's there. Now you might be happy with this, but if we want to look, if we, when something really does have some sort of uh, uh, a direct light source, these two end up being squeezed a little bit. So if we use command G, we can actually group them together. And now I can give them a little bit of a squeeze. something like this. And now we want to give it a nice border, kind of like what's in these images. Um, what I'll do is using um, L again, my ellipse tool. So L, let's make this an outline and we'll make it maybe an even darker red color, something like this. And if I put this over the whole circle. Let's increase this keystroke to something like that. Now if I move my sphere back here, I can start playing with this like that. And actually, maybe I want to move this ellipse just a little bit to the side. There we go. This is a nice 
cartoon three-dimensional sphere. Now you might be thinking, well, that was a lot of work to try to make um, uh, just one sphere. So remember, we can always reuse things by by turning this uh, turning this whole thing into a into a symbol. Actually, I'm gonna make this thickness a little bit thinner. There we go. That's really nice. So I've put this next to the one that I made before. You can rotate this to any angle that you want. Where this really bright spot is is telling you where the direct light source is. So let's say I want to keep it like this. I really like this direction. Now, if I want to save this for the future, I simply click um, on this right panel on symbols. You can see I saved one before. So if I click everything that's in here and I drag it over to my symbols, I'm going to make this a dynamic symbol in case that I want to change things in the future. I press OK. And now I can always click and drag and create a new sphere. And if we want to make a new one with different swatches, that's pretty easy. We can use the direct uh, select tool, which is A. So let's, let's say we want to make a series of, uh, of green spheres. If I click the center one, let's choose a different palette. Uh, let's, yeah, let's make a green one. Let's do a really nice lime green there. And let's make these all, so I'll show you one quick way to do this. Let's just make these all the same color. So if I use the eyedropper tool, right, if I click I, I can make each one of these pieces all have the same lime green. And now it's pretty easy to change this middle guy by going along a straight line. Maybe we can choose this green there. And then for this outer one, we can choose a darker green. That's like that. And then we want to change uh, the outer, that outer rim. We can choose a green, like a dark forest green, something like this. And there we go. Now we have a green sphere. And again, if we want to save this one for the future, we can click on symbols and drag it over here. And there goes our nice cartoon, uh, cartoon 3D sphere. All right, this was one really quick video just to show how to do this. And again, props to the artist that made this figure. It's really, really nice. All right, see y'all later.